welcome back. Today we are going to work on this inspirational DIY. The list of materials will be in the description box. You will need glitter, some Mod Podge, and also a brush to apply the Mod Podge. Now, a while ago I did a haul uh, and I bought two of these frames. And when I bought it, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it. So let's see what we can do today. So what I'm gonna do here is that I will be mixing up the Epsom salt with the uh, glitter. And I'm making this so I can then glue it to that frame. And I will be doing so uh, using Mod Podge. So here I am applying that Mod Podge where I want it to be. It is best to always work in sections because that way the Mod Podge will work better. Here I decided to work on a larger section, therefore I don't think that, you know, that I had the effect that I wanted to have. Now the second time if you notice here I am applying way more Mod Podge and that's exactly what you want to do if you want to make sure to have a to have more of that mixture with the Epsom salt and the glitter. Uh, I did notice that the first time I dipped it in the mixture the glitter wasn't showing much so what I did here was to sprinkle some of that glitter and then I went ahead and uh, submerge it into the mix. proceeded to do the same thing on the other two sides of the mirror and then I set it to the side because now I am going to work on this uh, candle holder and this one is quite easy. I am going to apply Mod Podge and then I am going to practically just pick the rhinestones that I want to use. Um, again, just work in sections. Um, I will be pasting or gluing on um, that the coaster with hot glue and it's gonna give me a bigger base on the bottom if you can see if you turn it over you can see the uh, glass coaster but it doesn't matter I'm not gonna do anything to the bottom of it so so far it looks good however I started making a lot of mistakes with this DIY um, and you know, sometimes this happens. It's just a lot of the times I edit all those mistakes, but I decided to leave them here so you will, you will not make those mistakes. First mistake here was that when gluing the frame to the actual candle holder, I didn't clean the bottom of it. And uh, the Epsom salt came off, therefore it didn't stick. Believe it or not, I made the same mistake twice. Yeah twice but yeah you learn from your mistakes so here I glued it in for the second time and so far so good um, I started just filling in those empty spots with rhinestones and um, I kept on moving on After cleaning my mirror, I decided to add some rhinestones to the frame and I kind of scatter them around, nothing in a pattern, um, but I wasn't too pleased with the result. So I ended up with something that looks like this. Um, I liked it but didn't love it. So I'm like, well, maybe I can add some of these, um, some of these lights to it. 
and uh, these lights I bought during the holiday season they were Christmas lights um, you can also find them at the Dollar Tree of course they're not the same kind but you can make some of their lights work question is how am I going to attach these lights well of course I decided to use hot glue and um, because it has these lights have a wire I, I don't know I thought it was harder to kind of manage them but I ended up making it happen anyways so then I decided to use some clips and then um, give the wire the shape that I wanted and here you see the clips and then after that I went ahead and glued it on and to hide I guess the glue that I had applied I went ahead and used some acrylic gems. So this is my third attempt in putting that frame in place. This time, yes, it's gonna work because that area where the glue goes, it's clear now. And this is the final result. Um, I did like it. I was gonna leave it like that, but I didn't love it. So the next morning, I decided to redo the frame. And practically what I did was to remove all the Epsom salt and then I went ahead and used some of that glitter ribbon and I used some of the flowers and this is what I came up with. Let me know which choice you like better. Did you like the first attempt or the second attempt? Okay my friends, thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Hasta la vista. Adios.